So I guess this was inevitable. Uh, <coughs> um, so I picked up COVID. Yeah, I'm in the middle of uh, COVID. <laughs> so I'm I'm lucky this isn't like two years ago, because that could have been, as we all know, probably who knows, high probability of fatality, you know, or reasonable probability, much more so than now. So instead, it's just like the worst flu ever. So I'm on like day, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, day four, and I, I do feel better today. So, um, but it's definitely worth avoiding, expending a bit of effort to avoid. And you're just a very silly person if you do not. Um, I had kind of adopted the attitude, I mean, I've been, yeah, I've been vaxxed, I've been boosted. So, um, I don't have a problem with that. I don't consider it a big government plot, etc. But if you do, that's fine. Um, but common sense says avoid the flu, you know. Uh, The, but there's a certain inevitability to this with herd immunity, that uh, with 50%-ish plus people being asymptomatic, not even knowing that they have it, uh, that there will be uh, community spread, and especially, I mean, everybody's just so over the quarantining and masking. So I was on a motorcycle campout weekend. It was so much fun to get together after two years of not doing it. Or, yeah, two years. Um, it was just a truly great weekend. And I really hadn't been motorcycle camping in that period of time. So, um, more fun than I can describe. Uh, there were maybe 30 five guys there. Um, it's something we do every year, get together and, and do this weekend, uh, Victoria Day weekend. Um, well, it turns out right afterwards I uh, got an email that, oh, one of the guys had COVID. Okay, tested positive for COVID. So I thought, well, <coughs> I didn't hang around him very much at all. So, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Now well, then I started to get the, you know, flu-like symptoms. Headache, runny nose, coughing, sneezing, a uh, little sense of disorientation, uh, you know, all that stuff. So, uh, so I uh, did a self-test and it came out strongly positive. Um, just super clear when I took it to the health nurses where I work. They said, wow, I haven't seen that strong a positive ever, I don't think. Uh, so with the symptoms and with the, that test, they didn't even put me through a PCR. So they said, yes, just get your butt home and quarantine. So that's what I've been doing. Sleep is the best medicine. Uh, NyQuil helps in that. And so that's been my, that's what I've been I just haven't uh, felt like eating hardly anything, and yeah, you know, it's just the flu. But it's it's a seriously kick-ass flu. So the worst I've ever experienced, uh, and I'm better now. I just I was going to make this yesterday, and I just wasn't up to it. I did have a uh, Zoom meeting yesterday, you know, like we would always do. I'm part of a advisory committee for the local community college, and. It was like sleepwalking through a zombie movie. I mean, it was just like, oh, even Zoom. So, the cat has been very attentive, haven't you? Yeah, I know. you've been very attentive. So, that's been good. I live alone, so I don't have to worry about infecting anybody else. Um, and I've just been laying low, I've been just sleeping. So, but, <coughs> a word to the wise. This is worth avoiding. 
uh, I know health departments are starting to say, you know, every time you go into a supermarket or something like that, you should now uh, think about masking up again, and uh, that would be wise. Even though masks, unless it's a N95, uh, mostly keep your stuff in with you and don't spread it around, but it doesn't really protect you from outside stuff. So it kind of everybody has to be masking or it doesn't do that much good. And once again, if people don't know they're sick, because most of them are asymptomatic, uh, well, you know, that's just where we're at. Uh, also, the new strain, what is it, BA212.12 or whatever, um, apparently is kind of like skirts around the vaccines even. And if you've had the earlier versions... So, what to do, you know? Uh, you just take your precautions, uh, be sensible, you know, don't be a political idiot, and um, take care of yourself, you know? Try not to get the flu. That's basically what this is, I think. Um, it's just, like I say, it's a kick-ass flu. So... So I'm not smoking, <clears throat> I mean, this is a respiratory disease, so to be smoking while you have a respiratory disease is not sensible. So, um, luckily for me, this reaffirms that I could stop smoking. I'm, I'm just not addicted to it, you know, it's not like, oh, I have this craving to smoke. I just don't. So, so all in good time, I'm going to miss the Kids at Pipe Club meeting this weekend, darn it. That's always a lot of fun, um, but I'm not going to be out of my quarantine until then. So the quarantine is less. It's like five days of home quarantine, and then you can, I can, as far as our company policy is, I can return to work masked for another five days if I'm 24 hours with no fever. And currently, the highest fever I had was 102, and... Uh, I was back to normal in a day, so and my temperature's normal, so that's good, but yeah, gets in the way of everything, you lose a week of your life, Ugh. so anyway, it's worth avoiding, is my advice, be reasonable, be sensible, avoid it if you can. And by now, you know how to do that. So, uh, smart money says avoid it. That's right. That's right.